Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I'll show you how you can freeze rows or columns in your MS Excel worksheet. It's a pretty simple process, so make sure you follow through till the end. First up, you will have to open up your worksheet and if you want to freeze the first row of your worksheet, I'll quickly highlight it so that you can view it easily. So let's say you want to freeze this row that we've just selected. So the top row, just click on view and click on freeze panes. In this drop down menu click on freeze top row and that's it when we scroll down it stays there on the screen that is the freeze option pretty much now if you want to freeze the first column just highlight it I, i'm highlighting it so that you can view whether or not it is being frozen easily now as you can see when i scroll to the right it is not being frozen onto the screen if i want to do that click on view click on freeze pane click on freeze first column and that's it it is now being frozen onto the screen and you know once you scroll left or right, it is staying there. Now, if you want to if you want to freeze both of them together, now if I scroll down, you can see that the top row is no longer on frozen onto my screen, but the row is you know the column is still frozen. If you want both of them to work simultaneously, just unfreeze both the panes and select this cell right here, the intersecting cell. Once you've selected that, click on freeze panes and click on freeze panes again, and that's it. Now, when you scroll down. The top row is being frozen. Now, when you scroll left or right, the column is also frozen. So, yeah, that's pretty much it on how you can use the freeze panes tool in MS Excel. Hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, and also comment down below on what next videos we should make. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.